What's going on, everybody? It's Sasha, your market expert here in Charlotte. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another monthly market report for the month of February. Now, I hope you're doing well because I'm starting to get nauseous. I'm seeing some stuff in the real estate market right now that has just started happening in these last three weeks that I was not anticipating. January started off as normal. There was nothing abnormal to kind of indicate anything. And today, as I'm filming this, it's February 13th. And these past three weeks, I don't, there's been something in the water. Yes, rates have come down. They're under 6%, roughly in the high fives. Um, I actually just had a closing today. My client actually bought down his rate also, and he got a 5.3% interest rate, which is great. But I want to run a couple things by you. These are houses that I'm helping clients with. These are stuff that I've been sending them and stuff that I've been personally keeping an eye on. One house in Waxhaw listed at 625, multiple offers sold that weekend. Another house near the South Charlotte area listed at 390. They had 16 offers. I called the agent. She said, I couldn't believe it. We had 16 offers on this house. It's most likely going to sell for around 410, maybe even more. Um, yes, uh, this past weekend, I looked at a house for myself personally with my wife, a very unique home. I loved it. I walked out. I said, listen, it's got way too many windows, way too many doors that need to be replaced. That alone is going to be thirty to $40,000 or so. This Nobody's going to buy this house for the listed price. I even talked to the agent and I said, listen, I really do like the house, but I need to put too much money into it right now at the current price. It's just not worth it to me personally. In my head, I'm thinking, nobody's going to buy this house at this price. Literally 30 to 45 minutes ago, I just got an email saying that that home is already pending. Another home in Ballantyne, Zach, what's up? The home that you sent me, open house this weekend, listed at 550, multiple offers in the Ballantyne area. It was listed on a, uh, I want to say it was a Friday. It might have been a Thursday. They called out for multiple offers Saturday by 5 p.m. I'm seeing so much of this activity. A majority of it is under the 400, under the $450,000 price point. And my guess on that is rates are under 6%. All those people that missed out and didn't get a chance to buy their home during the madness of 2020 to 2022 are back on the market. Um, in our MLS portal, which realtors get to look at, when somebody lists a house, it looks at proposed financing that the seller would like and that would entice them for an offer. During the madness, it was all conventional and cash. Now there's so many buyers out there with FHA loans and VA loans. So I think that is what is causing that uptick in houses listed under 400000 and under four hundred and fifty. But as I just mentioned, some of the houses that I'm talking about, they're over 500, they're over 600,000. So it's very interesting. And granted, all those houses, besides the one I was personally looking at, um, were essentially move-in ready, all in great locations. And I'm even looking back at other areas because I have clients in all different price ranges and all of a sudden, houses that have been sitting on the market for 50, 60, 100 days are going pending. Literally, this has been happening these last three weeks. And obviously, the mortgage rates coming down has a lot to do with it, but I'm starting to get a little nervous. You, you guys know this. I'm not a doom and gloom person. I was expecting the market to correct by 10 to 20%. And when you're looking at the median price point, we're already down roughly about 6%. Is it possible that we hit a 10% correction and the market picks back up? I personally do not think so. I personally don't see that happening. It needs to correct. Um, it just doesn't need to correct that exorbitant amount, but it's just very interesting. Like I said, January started off so normal. Everything's been normal. These last three weeks, I've been seeing so many multiple offer situations. Don't get me wrong. There's still a ton of houses that are sitting for a very long time, but the ones that are moving ready, um, they're selling quick. And it's starting to change. Sellers are starting to price their homes for sale a lot more reasonably and accordingly to entice all these people starting to put multiple offers on these properties. 
So in regards to the stats, you guys know this, I give you my personal opinion on what I'm seeing in the market, and then I give you all the stats to go over so you can make the decision for yourself, but this is just personally what I'm seeing. And uh, I was just talking to one of my lenders a couple days ago, and they made a great point that I honestly did not even think about. They said, Sasha, this is a really good thing that the rates are coming down. They said, if the rates happen to hit in the mid fives, 5.5%, during when the rates were around seven, sellers were like, I'm not going to sell my house because I have a low interest rate now. Why would I sell my house, buy a new house, most likely upgrade, have a higher payment because you're upgrading on your home and have an extremely high interest rate? I'm just going to stay put. But if we start seeing the rates in these mid fives, potentially low fives, the sellers are going to say, hey, this rate is not bad at all. I can list my house now. I can upgrade to a bigger house and I'd still be okay with the payment. So that makes so much sense to me. And I completely agree with it. You guys need to make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can keep up with this. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think is going to happen? I personally don't think anything has changed in my opinion. I still think we're going to see the 10 to 20% price correction. But these last three weeks have completely thrown me off. Now we're going to go over the stats so you can take a look at. But again, even though it's February right now, all the stats we're going to go over are from the month of January. So I'm very excited to see the February stats. But it's just so damn interesting. I can sit here for another 10 minutes and just keep blabbing on, but let's get into the numbers. I've covered everything that I wanted to personally, and uh, and yeah, I that damn house that I was looking at for myself sold in the first couple of days when I thought it was literally going to sit there because it needed a good amount of work. Um, so interesting. Let's get into the stats. So in regards to new listings, we had 3,184 new listings in the month of January. However, that is still a 20% decrease from this time last year. And it's just over 1,200 more new listings than we had in the month of December. We normally see an uptick, which we did in new listings when looking at the last year, but we're still down 20% from last year. Again, this is from January, so the rates were a little bit higher, and I'm hoping now that the rates are starting to come down, more new listings are going to come because sellers are going to feel more comfortable listing their home and then buying their new home. Now moving on to pending sales, we had 3,638 home sales pending in the month of January. That is still a 12% decrease, but it's just over 1,300 more home sales pending than we had in January. So it did pick up, but the buyer demand is still slightly down. But as I mentioned, these last three weeks here, and we're in the second week of February, have been starting to pick up a ton. Now this right here is a stat that I normally don't go over because prior to the market starting to cool down a little bit, it didn't have too much relevance and I didn't think it was important. But this month, Closed sales in the month of January was 2,261, and that is a 37.9% decrease in closed sales. Pending sales mean the house has accepted an offer. A closed sale is actually when the ownership was transferred and it has a new owner. So again, closed sales are down 37.9%. And they're down about a thousand homes from December. So you can see in this chart, it did take a drastic drop. But again, this is the month of January. But look at the prior two years. 2021, home sales closed was up 17.3%. 22, it was up 2.6%. 23, it's down almost 40%. These stats are so interesting. They're literally a hit and miss. It's like a tit for tat, it's so interesting. Now let's get into the average sales price and the median sales price, which is one of the most important stats if you're out here looking to buy, looking to sell, looking to invest. Average sales price came in at 417,000 in the month of January, and that is a 6.2% increase from this time last year. And when comparing the average sales price to the month of December, it's $17,000 less than we had in the month of December. Again, we used to be in double digit increases. Now we're at single digit. 2021, 13.6% increase. 
year over year, 22, a 15.6% increase, now a 6.2% increase. So we're still heading on up, just not as fast as we were before, because again, the market is starting to cool. So that's it for the average sales price. Now let's talk about the median sales price, which came in at $375,000 even. That is a 7.2% increase from this time last year. And honestly, it's $4,000 more than the median price point was in the month of December, which is a little bit interesting. But again, this is the stat that I pay attention to a lot because median home prices kind of run the scale for the rest of the pricing as far as average sales price goes. And this is where we need affordability to be at. And this is the stat that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. We're already down 6%. The highest we've ever had the median price point here in Charlotte is $400,000. And right now we're at $375,000. But that is still a 7.2% increase. But look at the prior two years, 12.9% increase. In 22, we had a 22.7% increase. Now we're down to 7.2. This is going to be very interesting to see how these numbers play out. And I'm seeing a lot more higher priced homes starting to hit the market. So the houses, seven, 800,000 and up, I'm starting to see a lot more of those starting to hit the market. And I'm wondering how it's going to affect the median sales price as we hopefully see this number start to come down in order to make housing more affordable in the Charlotte area. Now let's talk about days on market, which came in at 46, and that is a 100% increase from this time last year, and roughly five more days homes are sitting on the market than in the month of December. And we haven't been to these levels since January of 2020. So this stat is also very interesting. And again, for reference, the more days on market, the better it is for buyers, the less days on market, the better it is for sellers. There's absolutely no denying it that homes are starting to sit on the market a lot longer than they were before. It's just these last weeks have scared the shit out of me a little bit. <laughs> now let's talk about the percentage of the original list price received, which came in at 94.5, and that is a 5.6% increase from this time last year, and we are in the negatives. So essentially what this is telling you is you can expect to pay 5.5% below the listed price of a home. And as you can see from this chart right here, the percentage of the original list price received has been taking a nosedive. And again, this is happening because sellers, some sellers, it's getting a lot better now, but are still pricing their houses too high and end up taking an offer that is potentially 5 plus percent less than the listed price that they had intended to get for the home. Last but not least, months of inventory, which came in at 1.5. And even though it is 114% increase from this time last year, trajectory is showing that we're heading downward. But again, these stats are from January. What my lender said was so true. Now that we're seeing the interest rates kind of hit that mid five range, high five range, I still think we're gonna see a lot more sellers coming to the market. I still think that this one and a half months of inventory is gonna double by summertime, meaning we're gonna double our inventory by summertime. I still truly believe that. These stats are kind of crazy. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, call, text, email me anytime if there's anything I can ever do for you. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.